Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Brutin the Fortunate Boronga and on this video I'm going to be talking to you guys about one stream of passive income which is dividend investing. Passive income is money earned in a manner that does not require a lot of effort. However, having said that, there are other passive income generating ideas which require a lot of work to begin with but however will earn the owner some money even when they are sleepy so for me my favorite passive income stream is dividend investing because i know it will definitely earn you some money without a lot of work involved so i'm going to demonstrate uh, the whole process of dividend investing using c-trade but please do note that this video is by no means sponsored by C-Trade so everything that I'm going to say is definitely going to be my opinion so the first thing that you guys need to do is to set up a C-Trade account and you can download the application on the app store or go on their online portal and yeah. one of the things that I do love about C-Trade is it's user friendly and also you can do everything at the comfort of your home setting up your account you need to find a dividend paying stock and a dividend paying stock these are stocks which make regular payments to the shareholders uh, and this is what most investors are looking forward to when they are investing in shares and these payments can be monthly quarterly semi-annually or annually secondly you need to check the company's record of paying dividends so this this record should either be constant or should be growing and so as you check your record some companies uh, might not be growing right but they might be constant and paying dividends that shows that they are loyal to their shareholders they remember their shareholders and there are also other companies whereby uh, they skip um, they skip paying these dividends so you need to know why they did that like uh, you can check their fundamentals to know that okay so is it because there was a loss is it because there was some kind of difficulty so yeah the third thing is to focus on companies which are fundamentally strong and this is yeah this is more more or less the same like point number one to research and know about the company because definitely you're going to use the fundamentals to get to know about the company lastly you guys you need to understand the capital expenditure of the business so capital expenditure these are funds which are used by the company to acquire um, maintain or to upgrade the physical asset of the business so as to maintain the operation of the business so there are two types of capital expenditures right there is maintenance capital expenditure and development capital expenditure maintenance capital expenditure doesn't bring revenue to the company it's literally just maintaining the car the, 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 the physical asset for instance painting secondly there is development capital expenditure so development capital expenditure these are funds that are used uh, and they bring in revenue to the company so for instance uh, setting up and setting up a new structure in the company you need to understand the capital expenditure of the business how does it spend their money because this money is it comes from the it, it, this money actually it lessens the net profit of the company if the net profit if the profit of the company is less then definitely your dividends are going to be compromised right so you need to know those things okay. so now after you've researched about your company your stock your share you now know everything that you need to know you are convinced and you now want to invest you need to be you need to invest something that you're comfortable with right you shouldn't invest something that keeps you awake at night worried what is happening to this stock invest in something that keeps you out of your comfort zone but at the same time it doesn't keep you worried all the time right so invest something that you're comfortable with and also don't invest too little 
that you end up not caring about your investments. Your investments should be able to keep you out of your comfort zone. You need to know that, okay, so this investment that I made, right? In 10 years, in, in 10, 15 years, it is a possibility of growing like into this everything held constant guys after choosing the right dividend stock i would say keep informed with your portfolio check your portfolio regularly and also i would advise you guys to have a financial advisor it's always the best thing to have a financial advisor because they're able to tell you certain things that you guys don't know thank you for watching this video if you feel like this video has been helpful to you please do share like comment and don't forget to subscribe till next time